ラダモハンそうラダラニセパレートウィセパレートフロムモハンワンノノラダミーティングモハンザッコールドラサウラサラソウラサラサウラサラサウラサ Because meeting, you know, so much l a s a in there. And then separate, separate together. Then Radha Rani feel Babo r a s a Yeah. You know, feeling so, so intense, Guru Dev. You mentioned last time, you know, the separation. Separation makes, you know, more, more kind of feeling. Very intense. Very intense. Intense means you not can forget. So, last you can forget. Happiness you can forget. But pain you cannot. No. Mm. Yeah. So, <laughs> the interesting is this, you know, Radha Rai is separating feelings, b a b o r a s a Manja is feeling also b a b o r a s a you know. Mm. This, is, this is very, yes, very, very deep, Guru d e v a Manjali is Bhav Lasa. Yes. Rasa nahi. They don't want any Rasa. <laughs> <laughs> But,、uh, Radha can feel Bhav Lasa. Yes. 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 45 maybe today. Yeah, 45. Yeah, Can you give two air cleaning with this iron? iron? Yeah. This, I think, is Sri Ram, you know, like a Kebara b a k p i e Yes, yes, yes. <coughs> okay, start. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Srila Thakura Mahasaya <coughs> calls Sri Guru Dev Hevala Vakati Sadma and thus defines the constitution of Sri Guru while at the same time glorifying him. Sri Guru Charana is a wonderful devotional combination of Godhead and devotee. You see, Godhead, Radha Rani, and devotee. Godhead. The Guru is not Godhead. Sri is Godhead. Radhika Dasi is Sri Guru. Sri will always come for Radha Rani. Sri means everything. Sri. In India, they write Sri only the living soul. Or somebody died, they will not write Sri. Oh, oh dear. Because the soul is not there, he is Sri gone.、Ah. So, Sri means the soul who can be a Dasi of Radhika. That is Sri. After leaving soul, body, dead body, let this and that, such and such. Let? Let. Let means L? Ah, let. L E T? Let. Let. Oh, 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 dead, dead. Dead. Ah, dead. No Sri. Ah. They will not write Sri. Dead. Ah. Let such and such. Shri, I know that I'm going to be so. 
श्री तो श्री गुरु बिकॉज गुरु इज ऑलवेज विद श्री सर्विंग टू श्री सोइंग टू श्री बंदो मुई सावधान बी केयरफुल सावधान में साधु सावधान इफ यू आर नॉट साधु नो नीड टू सावधान बट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बी ए सेंटली पर्सन यू हैव टू बी केयरफुल विद मिस्टेक्स यू वॉन्ट टू बी ए डिमोनी आई केयरफुल there be anything nothing to be so great extraordinary shri guru sarva 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 yeah <coughs> shri guru charana is a wonderful devotional combination of godhead and devoti and thus he is the vessel of pure devotion vessel vessel of pure vessel is empty bottle vessel is bottle who can carry pure devotion vessel can carry the juice of water so he is carrying so ullas meeting of divine couple carrying is a man. but vessel porta is a container container it's not it's speech word but inside this container bahu last is there and also last right yeah. and if you want to be yeah. follow bhavalas we have to know rasolas what container is holding yeah. and what he carry inside this container is container <laughs> then we can receive some drop of the bhavala good morning gara priya good morning kem na chal baba bhalo tumar bhajan ki vishal anand ho container 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 thus is the vessel for your devotion both of devotion in practice and perfect loving devotion wow both devotion in practice and pure loving devotion wow <coughs> from the lotus feet of shri guru that are the abode of pure devotion <coughs> you see lotus feet lotus means that lotus flower the vessel 
Their material body become lotus because in this vessel container what is there is rare to find it to drink in the vessel in the container we have to drink what is there we cannot eat when we can drink from my upper senses not from lower senses we also If my mind is in lower senses, how I will drink from upper senses? From <coughs> from the lotus feet of Shri Guru, that are the abode of pure devotion, the Lord attains to pure devotional nectar of the living being's bhajan. Hmm? From, from the lotus feet of Shri Guru, hmm. the Lord attains the pure devotional nectar of the living being's bhajan. Yeah. Because they say now the person and his name is no different. Name bring you to the person. And if you if you remember the name, the person will come. Telepathy. This is good and very interesting. Usually we taste the Lord, but here mentions the Lord attains the pure devotional nectar of living beings, Bhajan. Yeah, the Lord is tasting our Bhajan. This is very really interesting. Oh my God. He tells how much I'm loving him. Mm. These words where you will find in other books, who is only book-making person. Rasi can write this. Realize Vaishnavism can write this. And Anandas Bhavati book, is a totally surrendered to see. <coughs> I like this book. His words are so touching, bringing enlightenment to you. Only buying book and keeping what is the use will not give any enlightenment to you. More blockage creating. Who relish? Not relish. How? My devotee, with how much feeling he is remembering me. He has some feeling of dry. He is shouting about me. And he is crying with his tears, dancing for my name, mad for the name. 
sweating for my name, become mad when he sings, he lose his consciousness or not. So he relished. And when he relished, automatically we relish. If the devotee relish something you do, then you relish with that. And when Sri Radhika will relish your remembrance, then automatically you regard the relishment. Ego conscious people cannot dance. Why? Because the ego is so high that feet will not move. Hmm. But who has no false ego? They forget somebody is looking to me or what. Grace of the devotional lotus feet of Sri Guru, the practitioner he erases all his vices and easily accomplishes a loving attainment of the Lord. Wow. On the other hand, when one has no faith, in the lotus feet of Sri Guru, or if one commits the fault of being ungrateful to him, and the seed of offense is sown, bhakti or bhajana becomes dry and dead-like. Therefore, Srila Thakura Mahasaya continues by saying, Mando Muri Sabadhana Sani. Mate. Mate. Here it says Sani. Mate, Mate. Uh, but here is written Sani. Mate, write down Mate. This is a mistake. Mate. It's a printing. Yeah. Mate, Mate. Sani is wrong. This bit? Matemus with the mind. Yeah. Ki or Priya. Mate or Sane. You see the teacher. Yeah. I'm on the I know the song, but I'm just reading what the book is saying. Everywhere it's saying Sane. Sometimes they made the mistakes in printing. Mate, Mate. Matemus with that mind. When they sing Sachinanda, you see he sing Mate. <laughs> the practitioner should carefully render service to that Sri Guru Krishna Seva Tikutsena. Krishna. 
कृष्णा अच्छा पुजारी को हम रात दिन बोलता है जो ये करो पुजारी थोड़ा थोड़ा कर देता है लेकिन उसका सेवा ठीक नहीं होता क्या हुआ ढोंग से सेवा नहीं होता है दस मिनट आता है झाड़ू लगा के भागता है कृष्णा और चौकीदार का व्यवहार एकदम सही नहीं है क्या हुआ उल्टा सीधा बात करता है जात्री लोग के लिए practitioner should carefully render service to that Sri Guru for by doing so all his spiritual pursuits are easily attained. Here we have again Vishram Bhena Guru Seva Being aware of the principle of Sri Guru, it is imperative to engage in his service after establishing unswerving faith in him. So, pandemi imperative, pandemi. Imperative means absolutely necessary. Uh huh. Okay. <coughs> Sri Krishna has defined the Sri Guru principle from his own mouth to Buddha. In the Bhagavatam, he says, You should know the Acharya to be me. Never slight or disrespect him or find faults in him. Considering him to be an ordinary mortal. For Sri Guru Dev is the aggregate of all the gods. Aggregate means com combination, accumulation. The practitioner must establish full faith in these principles of Sri Guru and carefully engage in Sri Guru's service so that no kind of human conception of the Guru can enter. <laughs> Even after being engaged in Sri Guru's service for a long time, our minds, bodies, and words are still engaged in so many uncontrolled activities, feelings, and conduct, causing so many heavy offenses to be committed that cause so many obstacles to reaping the results of devotional service. The cause of that is that we are not fully aware of the Sri Guru principle or the rules and prohibitions concerning the service of Sri Guru given by scriptures. So that we cannot engage in Sri Guru's service with care. Yeah. Hence, 
Shri Thakur Mahasaya says, Ando Muni Sabadhana Mate. The rules of Guru service are the following. The practitioner should personally bring water for bathing Sri Guru and washing his feet, massage his feet, rub his body, bathe him, anoint him with sandal pulp and wash his clothes. When he sees Guru Dev coming, he should come before him and offer him prostrated obeisances with eight limbs of the body. He should personally fetch the ingredients of Guru's daily puja such as tulsi leaves and flowers. He should daily offer the Lord prasad of food and drink to Sri Guru and then eat the remnants. When pronouncing the name of Sri Guru Dev, he should first lower the head, fold the hands, and utter the title Ashtotara Shatta Shri Shri. Then utter the name of Sri Guru and then end with the titles Prabhupada or Vishnupada. With body, words and mind, he should satisfy the Guru with sincere and innocent conduct and a pleasant, loving attitude <coughs> with his own wealth, body, abode, and life heirs. Prohibitions are the following. Do not step over the seat, garments, bed, shoes, and other possessions of Sri Gurudev. Never imitate the gait, speech, voice, and gestures of Sri Guru. Do not spread the legs. Place one leg over the other thigh before Sri Guru or point the feet to him. Do not yawn, laugh loudly, <coughs> spread out the fingers, sway the body, or make hands and feet or any other limb dance in front of the Guru. Do not sit, do not sit close to the Guru or before him. Do not lie down on the on a bed in front of Sri Guru. Do not lord it over others or chastise others in front of Sri Guru. When staying in the presence of Sri Guru, never go anywhere without his permission. Never explain the scriptures or give initiation without permission of the Guru. Do not use any language to the Guru that sounds like an order or give him any such indication with the finger or the hand. Never use disrespectful words like give me this or take that. When something is required, then pray for it humbly. Please permit me to do such. 
or please permit me to say so. Never eat Sri Guru's food or take his belongings without permission. Never go to any place where someone slanders Sri Guru Dev or diminishes his glories. Do not look at the face of the slanderer of the Guru. Tolerate the rebukes and chastisements of the Guru. Who's talking about? She keeps asking what it means. I said, who's talking bad about? Uh -huh. mm. Never treat him in a hostile manner, even if he treats you in a hostile manner. In short, one should never act in such a way to the Guru that his glories are diminished or that he appears like an ordinary human being. He is, he is Guru, and Guru means mercy. I'm sorry. He is Guru and Guru, Guru means heavy. Heavy, heavy, I'm sorry. Heavy. Heavy? <laughs> Guru means heavy. Guru significa <laughs> <laughs> He can never become light in his glories. <laughs> oh, in his glory. Vanga Mui Sabadhana Mati. Oh, I yawn. And I laughed. You yawn? I laughed. Laugh. That is to care. Yeah, very hard now. Hard. Oh, the heat turned it. off. <laughs> open, open little. Open a little bit. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Another deep secret in Srila Thakura Mahasaya's use of the words Bando Mui Savadhana Mate. Often the demigods confuse the intelligence of the student who is surrendered to his girl, Guru, and try to diminish his devotion. Often the demigods confuse the intelligence of the student who is surrendered to his guru and try to diminish his devotion. Wow. Demigods do this. Demigods do this. He destroyed. Is the reason the reason is that the demigods are thinking on the strength of his extraordinary Guru Bhakti, this Guru Nishta Sadaka tries to exceed us 
and will certainly attain the Lord's supreme abode. Mm. Yes. On the strength of his extraordinary Guru Bhakti, this Guru Nishta Sadaka tries to exceed us and will certainly attain the Lord's supreme abode. Therefore, we can lure him away from his devotion to his Guru. He will not be able to exceed us. Alas, if the demigods are so envious to try to dim a student's devotion to his Guru, then what doubt can there be that human beings that are unable to tolerate another person's excellence, that are wicked natured and blinded by desires for trifles and things like profit or fame, will try to do all kinds of things to diminish the student's devotion to his guru. Everyone follow? So basically, say if the demigods are doing this, right? They're trying to destroy the devotees, you know, bhakti. If the demigods can do this, then then the bad human beings will also do this. But I didn't understand why demigods. They're envious. Yeah, because they don't want the human to attain the lotus feet of the Supreme Lord. So they become envious. Okay. Can they also do this? Attain the so, lotus feet? The demigods? Ask. Ask me. When, when they are envious, why, the demigods, are they able to reach the lotus feet also or not, like the human beings? Demigods are disturbing that you don't do because they don't want to see Progress of human being. Progress. 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 So they just drop. Some are supporting, some are blocking. In which way? Disturbing the mind? Behavior, mind. Poisoning to the mind. Adi Daivika. Bhartika Adi Devi. Mental sickness, physical sickness. Previous my sanskara confused. These are definitely came through this way. <coughs> What is right, they will say no wrong. And what is wrong, they will say right. They will keep you in sense enjoyment. They are all demigods. They will confuse your mind. We have to become female from inside. And male is a body, then they will say you become female outside, and inside we have like a male. Confusing something. You say some are also supportive. Is this Kupeshwara Mahadev or not Mahadev? No. Mahamaya is supportive. Maya is supportive. Work is to be in keeping in Maya. 
feel the Mahamaya doing these things because they want to Mahamaya Shakti keep more in the material term. So they are, are like uh, agents of Maya, like... Uh, different, different. Like uh, mm. Rahu Kirti also. Supra Chai. Supra Chai. What is Supra Seaman? Then they want to play with the sea. But they don't understand Sim. this semen is coming from the 30 days, blood one drop. They play like game and they become old in 40, 45. They see they are old. Yeah, so all are devtas, right? Some follow Braspati, who teach you right thing, and one follows Sukracha, very big. Go to the cities, all room has the Sukracha city. Sukracha. Every group has a television. Walking in space has a television. And they are talking only useless topics. <laughs> so what is that? Association. They follow so bright how to lose the semen, that has to, that they are acharyas of the, this, this devta, they are teaching like you. they are also the living energy, no? Have one question. Um, have heard this according to Indian mythology. Um, during solar eclipse, Ram swallows the sun. Is it true? Mm -hmm. And it's considered very inauspicious, right? Yes. So that time we have to chat to pay. not see the uh, this but in western world everybody goes to us <laughs> <laughs> they, put, they put the special glasses glass to take. <laughs> <laughs> crazy crazy idea what they will get it that energy <laughs> and then mind become more crazy Therefore, the student who is loyal to his guru should take special care with the aid of the saints and the scriptures, engage himself in the devotional worship of Sri Guru's lotus feet. In that case, neither the demigods nor human beings will be able to diminish 
the Guru Bhakti of such a well-supported student. After this, Srila <coughs> Thakura Mahasaya said, Jahara Prasade Bhai E Bhava Thuriya Jai Krishna Prapti Hoi Jaha Hoite As a result of worshipping the lotus feet of Sri Gurudev, who is the incarnation of the Lord's deep compassion and the abode of pure devotion, the student will attain both devotion in practice and accomplished devotion. When Sri Guru is pleased, attainment of the Lord and the supreme goal of his loving service are easily accomplished. Please, please miss mercy will come. Mm. And how he please, very difficult to know. <laughs> how, which point he will be happy. <laughs> And then open the door of Kripa, mm -hmm. and that Kripa, when we receive, it becomes rich, richness in our life. Realization comes by that mercy. And it's an hundred times before, but one time, His words penetrate inside my heart and all the life. <laughs> that is mercy. There is nothing sadhan sadhya. I can say sadhan sadhya <coughs> never sadhan sadhya. Kripa sadhya. Only by the grace life can change. What sadhana you can do? Narayan Maharaj is only Kripa. Thank God. By mercy, thank God. Mahesh ki Kripa. Guru can give and Radhika can give. And when Guru recommends her, then Larika gives. It's so close connection with Larika to his Dasi. So what she says, Dasi say Guru means Dasi of Radhika. Radhika do for reward of her service. So that reward makes us life fulfilled, realize. Therefore, the cessation of material suffering disappears for good as a mere concomitant factor. The devotee need not bother at all about liberation from the material world. 
for when he takes shelter of the life buoy of the Lord's lotus feet, the ocean of material existence becomes as insignificant as the water in a cow's footprint. Wow. However, the, the sadhaka should be particularly concerned about personal vices that may injure his devotion. In the opinion of the devotional scriptures, the attainment of God through the eradication of all vices has been defined as supreme as the supreme goal of human life. By Sri Guru's grace, these vices are easily destroyed, and the practitioner will be blessed with the attainment of the Lord's greatest ambrosial grace. Then comes a quote from Bhakti Santarpa. The only cause of the destruction of vices that are hard to conquer by the student's various own endeavors and of the Lord's satisfaction is the grace of Sri Guru. Question? So, the only cause of the destruction of vices, here vices means like bad habits, uh, sinful activities, anything like that. So, the only cause of the destruction of vices that are hard to conquer by the student's own endeavors and the Lord's and of the Lord's satisfaction is the grace of Sri Guru. So by our own endeavor, by our own efforts, we're not able to conquer these bad habits. Only by the grace of Guru can we overcome these bad habits, these bad tendencies. Sri Vishwanath Chakravarti Chakravarti Parat has written in his Gurvashtaka, Yasya Prasada Bhagavata Shado, Yasya Prasada Nagati Kutopi. By the, by the Guru's grace, the Lord's grace is attained. But when, when he is not pleased, the supreme goal is never attained. Yeah. By the Lord's grace, the, by the, I'm sorry, by the Guru's grace, then the Lord's grace is attained. But when he is not pleased, the supreme goal is never attained. comes next shloka. Guru Mukha Padma Vakya Vide Kori Maha Sakya Arna Kori Ho Mane Asha Shri Guru Charanarati Ese Uttamagati Je Prasade Puri Sarva Asha the words that emanate from the Guru's lotus mouth give the heart sufficient, sufficient strength to attain Krishna. Do not covet anything else. Attachment to Sri Guru's lotus feet is the supreme goal. And by His grace, all desires are fulfilled. Dear Srila Vishwanath Chakravarti Padas Tika explanation. 
the weight of the Guru's words. After taking shelter at the lotus feet of the bona fide Guru, who knows the truth about Sri Krishna, meaning after taking initiation in mantras from him, Sri Guru Deva will instruct the student in sadhana bhajana and teach him the truths on Sri Krishna, prema and rasa. Just as the words that emanate from the divine mouth of Sri Guru Dev are honey sweet and are like elixir for the ears and the heart, similarly they are very powerful on the path of bhajana. In this Tripadi, Srila Thakura Mahasaya first indicates that by saying Guru Mukha Padma Vakya Ride Kuri Mahasakya Arana Kuri Ho Mane Asha Just as the words that emanate from the lotus mouth of Sri Guru Deva who is the embodiment of Bhagavad Bhakti Ras are sweet and relishable as honey. Similarly, they are filled with intoxicating flavors of devotion. Nothing can compare with the instructions of Sri Guru Dev, whose heart melts with compassion and affection towards his students, extends. It doesn't really fit with nothing can be Extends means it continues to grow, okay? Extends. It, it doesn't really, this word extends doesn't really fit in this sentence the way it's placed at the end, but anyway, it's not important. The disciple carries the very powerful words. Words about the flavors of devotion to Sri Krishna. words that are powerful enough to make one attain the Lord of Sri Gurudev, who is the embodiment of pure devotional service to God and gives up all other aspirations than this. <clears throat> the purport of this is that when he sees the wretched situation of the human beings that are bound by Maya, the heart of the merciful Lord melts and he wishes to bless them by making them relish the sweet flavors of his ecstatic worship. Then from Samasti Guru, from the Samasti Guru form of the Lord, the Lord's form as the aggregate of all Gurus, the power to become Guru, Urutva Shakti, manifests in a great soul, or Vyasti Guru, individual Guru, who is accomplished in devotion. He is qualified to take up the post of bona fide guru. The instructive words of such a Sri Guru, who is the embodiment of the Lord's deep compassion, Karunya Kana Vigraha, are endowed with 
such great power that there's no more room for doubts. Hence, Srila Thakura Mahasaya says, those who are yearning to attain Sri Krishna, keep these powerful words of Sri Guru within the heart and renounce all other aspirations. <coughs> now the question may be, if the instructions given by Sri Guru Dev are not favorable to the teachings of the scriptures and the great souls, should the sadhaka still establish such faith in them? To that it is answered, the bona fide guru can never give instructions that are unfavorable to the saints and the scriptures. If a guru does give rejectable instructions that contravene with the teachings of the scriptures and saints to a disciple, the bona fide disciple does not accept them but at the same time does not dishonor Sri Guru in any way. He will discard such instruction, taking himself to the unqualified, to be taking himself <coughs> to be unqualified to understand its purport. So I just repeat. So if a guru does give rejectable instructions that, that, that contravene with the teachings of the scriptures, if he gives these instructions to a disciple, then that bona fide disciple does not accept them, but at the same time does not dishonor Sri Guru in any way. He will discard such an instruction, taking himself to be unqualified to understand its purport. Purport. Meaning. Hence, Srila Thakura Mahasaya says in the upcoming Tripadi, Sadhu Shastra Guru Vakya Ridae Koriya Aikya Satata Basivo Prema Maji. I unite the words of the saints, the scriptures, and the Guru in my heart, and thus I will constantly float in Prema. So maybe we can stop here and Maharaj, you can give some comment. So this is. <coughs> so, generally speaking, Sadhu Shastra Guru, what is the same one? <coughs> so, but uh, some, he said, bona fide Guru can never give instructions that are unfavorable to the saints and scriptures. But in case a guru does give rejectable instruction and contra B means contradict with the teaching of scriptures and saying to the disciple. This is also very difficult to find out which one is rejectable, which one is contrabeing, honestly speaking. Then, Baba said, bona fide disciple does not accept them, but at the same time does not disown. So means does not make offense to the Guru there. 
The, this is very interesting. He would discuss such an instruction, taking himself to be unqualified to understand it. Mm -hmm. But honestly speaking, which one is this, the case is very difficult to find out. Because sometimes good, good they say sometimes different say like uh, for example Prabhupada say don't be Radha Kunda. Mm. But Rupa Goswami said, one should base as much as possible. Mm -hmm. But it seems contradicted. But actually not contradicted. Because if the disciple uh, have tendency to make offense to, to the Radha Kunda, like uh, swimming, kicking the feet. Mm -hmm. So if Guru see, Guru Dev see, oh, better not to take bus. Mm -hmm. And also Pahupan mentioned, one day, Ekadashi day, uh, Bhaktisya Saraswati sent disciple to preaching. And uh, at that time, disciple was uh, maybe doing some fasting or maybe eat a little less. Then Guru, Guru Dev said, take gure, take gure, eat food. Oh, yes. And then go preach. Prabhupada said. Bhakti said. Actually, I don't know this is this is the real story or not, but uh, I had, I have read this. <laughs> So, so reality I don't know, but sometimes that's like a, for Guru Dev's case, for Ekarashi Dev's, take this, take this remnant, grain remnant. So it is very difficult, and then took Guru Dev took this remnant of Guru Dev, his Guru Dev then become so much ecstasy. In. So this is very difficult to find out which one is incorrect or not. So I have a question. Mm. Why are you saying, if the Guru is giving some instruction that is contradictory to Shastra, then dis discard it. In other words, don't follow it. Mm. You know, knowing that I am not qualified to understand it, so I won't follow it. Why he doesn't say the opposite, that whatever the Guru says, do it, and don't worry about it, don't question it, follow the instruction, and later maybe you will understand why, but do always do what the Guru says, because in this song, in the shloka, it says always, you know, connect your mind to the heart, to the words of the Guru, like unswerving faith, never deviate. So why not just, whatever he said, just accept it, that he knows best. I don't understand, but still I accept, and I'm just going to do what he said. Why not give this instruction? Why saying, because to disregard the instruction, then you're not following the order of the Guru. Because, you know what I'm saying? Is yeah, 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 why, yeah. Why, is, why do you think? Why he's saying like this? Because we are following Sadhu Guru Shastra. Mm -hmm. Means kind of three things we are protecting. These three things protect us to 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 develop bhakti. Mm. So before mm. say some demigod. Mm or even something, some, some, you know, try to, what is it, illusion mm -hmm. us. So we, in this also Kali Yuga, you know, many things may happen. So therefore we have to always check it out these three things. For example, we are kind of driving the car, driving the car. Say, so we say we, if we want to go from say 
ニューヨークとサンフランシスコ、うち、ん、ウィドンのザクテイ、ファーストタイム、で、ウィウィハブナビゲーター、ホースウィハブマップ、バスティル、サムタイムナビゲーションビカムロン。うん、そう、あざた、we have to ask somebody who is the no who knows the past. そう、similarly, you know, anytime some man some may mistake. So, therefore, this say, just wait a minute, just say. So, You mentioned Sadhu, Guru, Shastra. So basically, if we take this analogy, this example, maybe like map is Shastra, right? Yes. Map, map it can't be, unless it's a. I mean, map is true, right? Yes. We have to assume. The satellite is taking the picture, the map is accurate. Yes. But sometimes the navigation might be deviating. Yes. And maybe. Guru has reason to deviate. You know? Maybe there's a good reason, but we don't understand it. So better just follow the map. Yeah, but the、so、the map is Shastra. Follow、yeah. another no, Shastra. No, no. But that's what the book is. That's basically what you can explain. Maybe that I will explain. Yeah, yeah. okay. Who did that explain? So you have to follow Sandhu. Right. No Shastra. That's Second the, thing coming, Shastra. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. But the book is saying different. Let me read. It said. So, basically, there was a question. The question is, if the instruction given by Sri Guru are not favorable to teachings of Scripture, then he's not Guru. Basic thing is gone. Then what to do? And answer is. No, no, no. Who now follow the. Sri Radhika, I still, they are not Guru. Forget, they are not Guru. You are wrong, box. You don't understand that. He said, Who not follow is to them? They are bogus.、Hmm. <coughs> How you sit with them? Who don't know himself, how he will open my hand?、Mm. Who is already binded with that Maya and material thing? How are you not going to open? See this life. And then I go to the, associate with them. I want to be kapoor. And our line, if my anyone guru is, then there are so many gurus. They will help me. My param guru will help me. The lineage is there, and who not follow this lineage? Manjari Bha. They are not. The first thing, Sri Guru. Read again. So, if the instruction given by Sri Guru Dev, instructions given by Guru Dev are not favorable to teachings of the scriptures and the great souls, the scripture not see. Then you see the scripture.、Mm. See the Sri Guru. If you will see the scripture, then you will never get double of faith in Guru Dev.、Right. And if you not see the Sadhu, Sadhu Sastra Guru Vakhi. When doubtful Guru comes, then you will see that Sastra.、Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
Sorry. So the question is, should the sadaka still establish faith? Faith, huh? faith, huh? faith, establish faith, huh? who is Sri Guru? Yeah. Well, the book says, should we still have faith in those words that are against Shastra, that are opposite Shastra, that are contradict Shastra? And who do only based on Shastra, he mm. will never believe in Guru or, or Sadhu. Sorry. Here mentioned the scripture and the saints. Yeah. Both, both mentioned. Both, both mentioned. Your scripture is secondary. Guru is the primary. And if he is not followed, then see the Sastra. Hmm. That's where to find this basic Sastra's Guru. Sadhu, Sastra, Guru, Vakya. Guru, Vakya. Guru, words has to be followed. Read the line, Bangla. Sadhu, Sastra, Guru, Vakya. Guru, Vakya. Read. He will always say one point at least, for yesterday, no other subject. I will be quiet. Because he don't see. And who see the sastra, he never see the yesterday. Yeah. It says here, the bona fide guru can never give instruction that are unfavorable to yes. saints and scriptures. Yes. In scripture, he will never advise anything out of scripture. He will never advise out of saintly person. This is perfectly acceptable, understandable. But then comes this sentence. Listen, what is I'm not yeah. saying my opinion, saying what the book yeah, is saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the book is saying like this. If a guru does give rejectable instruction... Uh, then why you stay with that? What? Listen. Nonsense. They are <laughs> immediately to tie your tie. But then why you bother for that? Mm. That is the point. Then go to Sastra. Deviate from Sadguru. Mm. Yeah. Do not accept. Huh? It says do not accept. Then go Sastra. Yeah. Mm. Sastra means to create the doubt. Right. Good. Who based on Sastra, they will never faith in is Istadev and Gurudev. Mm. You know this? They are Samartha Brahmana. They only believe in the themselves and Sastra. So, also it says here, so the bona fide disciple does not accept those words that are contrary to Shastra. Yes. But, but it says, at the same time, he does not dishonor the Guru. Does not dishonor the Guru. My dear, mm. this is the problem, mm. idea. Mm. That we not want to come out from Shastra to develop faith in in the sadhu, they never develop faith, Ajiya. Mm. Only in Prabhupada. Mm. This has to be out. Mm. If not, then never Ishtadev faith will come, never Gurudev faith will come. We talk, but based on Sastra. This Sastra, Prabhupada books from Sankh Bhakti Siddhanta, this practice make a big blockage in our life. So we never find this today. So we have so much doubt that everything we want to see through the Sastra, we have no faith in Guru. You see, you not see the Guru, how they are uh, realized and elevated because my mind is blocked in Sastra. 
how saintly persons are living, we never meet with that. Because we are living out of Vrindavan, we see out of only Shastra. So we have no faith in the Ishtadev and Gurudev and saintly person. Hmm. Honestly, I say you, this is the blockage only we believe in Shastra. And this never crystal clear to us. Shastra is a reference. If you not make reference to the Shastra, then it's not worth it. We have to realize ourselves. And when my realization not come with the Easter Dev and Guru Dev, is nothing will clear through the Shastra. This is my realization. When one pointed, you know that Guru Vakya, words of Guru Dev, the instruction of Guru Dev, never forget that. Because we never got the Siddha Guru, realized Guru. That's the problem. So the thought come and Shastra is basic. Mm. Because they don't say hundred percent. The key is your saru. Mm. When you got the saru, everything is crystal clear. Mm. I was sitting in this class of that boy. I was listening. I was Radha Kundur, one month I stayed. And he gives this time to frame her people. She's a subject of 85 or something, 84. Long time, right? Yeah. No need to do this. This is um, Srila Thakur Mahasaya says, I unite the words of the saints, the scripture, and Guru within my heart, and thus I will constantly. See, first, what is that? Hmm. Hmm? First, what is writing? This is in response to this. Read, read now, repeat the line. Yeah. I unite, unite the words of the saints. The First speakers, sense. The saints. Yeah. Sense meeting is very important. They block the meeting of saints. Hmm. How you know? Uh, saints are telling, and my Guru Dev is telling what? Why we go to see saints? There are two words, two, two, two different, different, different uh, meaning or same. I will check myself. Where I'm going? If I not see saintly person, we will not calculate. Sasra, how I will calculate myself? And when in which circumstances, what is written is for me favorable or not, how I will understand? Sentry person, meeting. 
The scriptures, the saints, the scripture, uniting, and the third guru. You will see guru will say same thing. And if he says same thing, then, then you, have, you have a problem. You are in problem. Guru is in problem. Question, Guru. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if I understand this really. I remember one time you said to me, "Don't go to too much gurus. It's better to come to one guru." To fix. Guru means sadhu, not guru. Saintly person, when you go, he not become your guru. But where are you going? He is sentry person or not? That's the point. If you want Radhika, then he is Radha Bhakta or not? He is teacher of vegan or he is teaching of Radha Rani? <laughs> he is teacher of Gopal, a teacher of Radhika. You have to know where I am going. How you will know? Only with the sentry person. As you not go to everyone to all our sentry, we have to ask to sentry person who is Vrindavan sentry, where to go. Then he said, go to the Mahanidhi Swami Vinod Baba. Then we go there. Then they said, Tatiya But they are different line. It's not my line. If you want to catch that line, you will go there and take shelter. Mm -hmm. well, the best is to ask you, Guruji. Ask to saintly person. I am not a saintly person. Okay. Ask to the person who is saintly, mm -hmm. ne? who is realized. They can guide you. I see many are going to them. So I recommend. I'm not a sensitive person. <laughs> so, this is Sajati, na Guru Dev, Sajati Sangha. And someone who is very realized or advanced, very advanced devotee. Goal is the same. We have to go to the person who is goal is the same, which we want to. So if our goal is radical, then Gold is Radhika, and Ramesh Baba is also Radhika Bhakta. Yeah, but the Sajati means the same Baba. Huh? <laughs> That's the point. Ramesh Baba is Radha Bhakta, and I recommend Vinod Baba. Why not to Ramesh Baba? Because Saki. That has to come. But if you see Andaka Prabhu, he will go to Ramesh Baba. Because his bhav is not fixed, what he likes. That's my and the and Damodar was there. They are going Kishori. They are going to Rameshwara, not to Mahabharata. Because Sachinanda Maharaj go to Rameshwara. <laughs> Why? Because they are sadhu, but they don't know which rasa I have to go where. Where I will learn about. 
So his second stage, which century person to go to see to develop my bhav, my feeling. Right? But I want to practice. I want to practice A and I go to the B century person. Then what will that? Confusing, confusing. So this all information has to be kept clear to meet with that. Then my I will learn something there. If not, then what will happen? I will also create confusion in inside. So what development, faith, I will create doubts in Sanchari, yeah. No, doubt means you block more one, one more uh, stone put on uh, inside. That, uh, that I, I want to remove my block, but we create one more block. <laughs> we cannot. We don't remove, we add one more block. This is it. I want to remove my block, I generate more, more block <laughs> to, to stop my flow. <clears throat> yeah. that, Srila Thakura Mahasaya says, Shri Guru Charane Rati E Se Uttamagati Se Prasade Pure Sarva Asha. Those who hold the instructions of Sri Guru on the principles of Sri Krishna, devotion to Him, love for Him and His taste, in the heart, and who loves Sri Guru's lotus feet will be easily blessed with attaining the greatest treasures in the kingdom of Prem. What is Rati? You know? Attachment? Lusty attachment. In a material topic, Rati is the wife of Kamdev. Ah, Ramdev, yes. yes. Yeah. Means without Rati, Kama not coming. Desire for sex will never come without Rati. Mm. So, there are two types of rati. One is material rati, one is Krishna rati. Swayam Sri Krishna is also Kamadev. He is a Kamadev. One material who desires the sense enjoyment, that is also one Kamadev. One has a without fall material calm there. And a spiritual calm there is Krishna, he has a form. Mm. And without that intense rati, mercy not flow. Mm. 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 With Sri Guru Charana rati, that rati with Guru Dev Charana, lotus feet, Mm. Lotus feet. Mm -hmm. Uttamagati. Mm. 
हाइएस्ट गति श्री गुरु चरण रति सही से उत्तम गति दिस रति वी लर्न फ्रॉम गुरुदेव लोटस फिट हाउ मै हाउ माई गुरुदेव इज इन द रति ऑफ राधा कृष्ण सेवा टीचर टू रिमूव माई ब्लॉकेज टू शो दैट सो इफ द शास्त्रा विल कम आई विल नेवर सी नेवर रति विल कम इन गुरु इफ द बेस ऑफ शास्त्रा इज देयर दैट इज बैदी वर्ग सारी तो से वैदि भक्ति स्टार्ट फ्रॉम शास्त्र सिद्धांत दैट इज वैदि भक्ति बिलीव फेथ रति दैट इज अनकंडीशनल सरेंडर Mm. This explains. Is, uh, yeah. This will explain what you're saying. I right? don't know that yeah. what is. <laughs> what? <laughs> so, if you allow me to read, this will yeah, yeah. support what you're saying. Let's, let's yeah, see. let's see. Those. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, so those who hold the instruction of Sri Guru on principles of Sri Krishna, devotion to him. Love for him in his taste, they hold in the heart and love Sri Guru's lotus feet. They will easily be blessed with attaining the greatest treasures in the kingdom of grace, namely the paramount sorts of loving devotional service, like massaging the lotus feet of Sri Radha's heart's friend, Sri Krishna. on the strength of their unalloyed devotion to shri guru's lotus feet now when rati awakens for the lotus feet of for the lotus feet of shri guru's lotus feet that is if the sadaka's heart is colored by the dye of unalloyed devotion for shri guru dev's lotus feet or if the heart of the sadaka sadaka becomes filled so sure when rati awakens from the lotus feet of shri guru dev's lotus feet that is if the sadaka's heart is colored by the dye of unalloyed devotion for Shri Guru Dev's lotus feet. Or if the heart of the sadaka becomes filled with feelings for Shri Guru, who is the embodiment of bhaja, he will easily attain the supreme goal. the heart of the sadaka becomes filled with the feelings for shri guru who is the embodiment of bhaja he will easily attain the supreme goal excuse me one may ask at this point radhe radhe <clears throat> One may ask this point. The Gaudiya Vaishnavas say that the supreme goal is the loving service of Sri Sri Radha Madhava. But why has it been said here that the supreme goal is love for the lotus feet of Sri Guru? Sri Guru Charanayati, Ese Uttamagati. 
So why has it been said here that the supreme goal is love for lotus feet of Guru when the Gaudiya Vaishnavas say the supreme goal is loving service of Shishi Radha So the purport is that the sadhaka who is lovingly attached to lotus feet of Shri Guru will certainly, most certainly attain the supreme goal of Sri Radha Krishna's Nikunja Seva. Can you please repeat the So about Gaudiya Vaishnavism and the contrary. Yeah. So the question is the Gaudiya Vaishnavas are saying the supreme goal is Radha Bhadra's lotus feet. But this shloka is saying the supreme goal is Guru's lotus feet. Guru is saying, repeating so many times, goal, goal is not Guru. <laughs> right? Goal is Radharani's love. This is the goal. Right? So, here he's explaining how can we understand this shloka? Why is shloka saying the goal is good as well to speak? He's saying cause and effect. The cause and effect. So he's saying the sadhaka who is lovingly attached to the lotus feet of Guru will most certainly attain the goal of Sri Radha Krishna's Nikunja Seva. In other words, if we're attached to the Guru's lotus feet, right, and, and feeling like that's our goal, then automatically we will get this love of Radha Radha, will come. You see, so it's a cause. First, we have to focus on attachment to Guru Sotis. Then, through that, then we will get this this higher thing, you see? So the ultimate goal is not the Guru Sotis feet. That's not the goal, it's Guru. But the goal is Radharani. But to get to that Radharani's love, we have to first go to the lotus feet of the Guru. You see? It's like, if you want to climb to the top of the Mount Everest, first you have to reach the base camp, right? So without going to base camp, you have no way to get to Everest, right? So for many, just to get to the base camp, that is some goal, right? Let's get to the base camp first. Then from base camp, then we can go. You know, something like, but then we need the guide, you know, whatever, something like this. Like, you know, like Himalaya, always some guide there. Yeah, 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 yeah. So without guide, we cannot go. Right. But if we follow guide, yes. automatically, yes. like Raga Bhakti, without mercy of Guru mm. or Sadhu, yeah, we cannot get it. Right. So therefore, you know, we take guide. saying, but, uh, but uh, still, we need the mercy of Guru Dev. So if we have love, lati of Guru Dev, lotus feet, then automatically attain radika. Like, like it say, here say, Nikunja Seva. Yes. So because everything depends on Kripa, mercy. Mm. Mm. So this, how, how can we get Kripa? Mm. Then, Best way to get Kripa is, you know, Guru, Guru the Kripa and uh, love for Guru Dev's lotus feet and service of Guru Dev's lotus feet. So later on say, like, in you know, one and same, this, you know, this, it, so later on you can. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, the love for lotus feet of Sri Guru, the cause, and the attainment of the Lord, the result has been used in a non-different way. So non-different means same. So what he's saying is this love for lotus feet of Guru is same as attainment of the Lord. Okay, this the supreme goal of Radha Krishna's Nikunja Seva. Mm -hmm. This is the same as the attainment of Gurus because through the Guru we, re we reach this, this highest 
May I ask so one question? Mm. Yeah. First you, then I will ask. Hmm? Mm? What do you say? Sorry. First you, then I will ask if it's not curious. You want me to read? Yeah, I, I have a question. Can you ask a question? Yeah. I'm not still clear, <laughs> very basic question. Mm. What does it mean here? Lotus feet of Shuriguru. Cosa significa qui per il denoto di Shuriguru? Cosa si intende? What is your question, sorry? Mm, what does it mean? What does it mean? So, like, uh, we should point and, like, uh, have a latte for Lotus feet of Shuriguru, but uh, I, I'm not still cr not clear what does it mean. Otherwise, I cannot make what it. Why do you say Lotus feet? No, 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 just I want to make clear what does it mean. To attain the lotus feet? No, no, that, just this. Lotus feet of Shri Guru, what does it mean? So, lotus feet of Shri Guru Dev means Shri Guru Dev. It is mentioned. Shri Guru Charana means Shri Guru Dev. Shri Guru means someone who has Prema of Radha Rani or Radha Mohan. Means just not only feet, no, attachment for Sri Guru Dev, right? Yes. This, this another Baba mentioned 44 page. Actually, Sri Guru Charana means Sri Guru Dev. The lotus feet of Guru Dev means Guru Dev. Like we are used something material is not the mm. material feet, of course. The mm. physical, the bodily is a lotus feet, it means in a spiritual meaning. Yeah. So Guru Deva in his spiritual form and and everything, but spiritual, not only just mm. something material. We talk about it some days before. Somebody was reading this. I think that the, the meaning of a lotus is he is in the mud, but not touched from it. And like Jesus said, maybe you remember, maybe he was not there. That we are here. I remember. I, I was there. Then. Thank yeah. you for remembering this. Yes, please. We are here in this, and, and this is what I took. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, no, I took yeah. from this reading yeah. and uh, talking about that the lotus feet means when we surrender to the lotus feet, we let all these material things behind. They cannot touch us anymore. When we surrender to Him, He brings us out of the mud and the material life, desires and all of this. He brings us to a flower to the lotus that we can serve Madarani as a flower. Mm. Wherever we are, if we are in the mud, in the seaside, on the mountains, we are still connected with him and he brings us out of this. Mm. This is what I take up. Yes, yeah, sure. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And also Gurudev is always uh, at the lotus feet of Sri Mati Radhika. Mm. So if we uh, surrender and take shelter of the lotus feet of Guru Dev, automatically we can attain the lotus feet of Radhika. Because Shri Guru means someone who has Shri, someone who has Radharani, who has attained the Radha Seva. So the result is used in non-different ways, same. Just as it is said, I will gutam iti, gutam iti, gi, or gitam iti, then I will gitam iti, gi equals lifespan. But at the same time, gi is not the same thing as lifespan. It is simply that eating ghee increases one's lifespan. 
Then, certainly B equals lifespan. Excuse me. Yes. Run. When you eat ghee, live longer. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then this is this is compared to this. It's just using it's using that analogy. Analogy. It's analogous. Means it's the same way. We, the same example. So. What? We're, they're, they're just explaining that lotus feet, the sloka is saying that the goal is the lotus feet of the guru. Mm -hmm. But this is, this is not really correct statement, that the lotus feet is goal of guru, because lotus feet of guru is the way to get to the supreme goal, which is lotus feet of Srimati Radharani, loving service of Srimati Radharani. Only through lotus feet can we, guru, can we reach this. So it's saying it's the same. It's equal, you see, in this respect. No, we have to understand Sri Guru Chananda Rati. <coughs> Rati means very high thing. Rati means no sastra. <laughs> that is a thing. I don't see, want to see it. Madness, Pamela. <laughs> like a one man or woman become mad for fulfilling self desire, that of madness. That is a thing. Madness. Nothing is looking to me. This madness, I will see the Shastra. One time Gurudev sent me one. He said, Radhika is the Alladani Shakti. Mm. And Radhika always wants to serve Krishna. Mm. But Krishna nature too, not to stay one thing. Because he create many things. How? Sleep and live alone. So Radhika never live alone. So Antaranga Sakti of Krishna become Bhairanga Impossible to find out in Sastra. Find out. The Antaranga Sakti, how it can be become Bhairanga Sakti. Antaranga Sakti is Radha. Bhairanga Sakti is Balram. How it is possible? But I am researching this. How is possible? So you can see everywhere. Nitai and Gayadar. Is acting as a Bhairanga Shakti. Bhairanga Shakti. Ananga Manjari. Where Radhika not go, Ananga Manjari is going. Even the Kurukshetra Ananga Manjari was there. And every place Radha Shakti is there. So all creation. 
finita la creazione is supported by antaranga shakti in a form of bhairanga shakti in a form of bhairanga shakti find out in sastra and in prayer is a realization è una realizzazione without the realization sastra cannot say find out posso dire This is Guru Kripa. Questo è Guru Kripa. Yesterday, Ieri, Uddhavaji, Uddhavaji is talking in an indirect way what Guru Dev. That I feel, you know, I felt. By more easy word for understanding other people. Also, this word is, you know, different way we could understand, you know. But uh, so he very... Uh, that is Rati. That you, undoubt, without doubting, you are mad with Sadhu Sastra. No need to search. When the Tigam is a different position, you believe and things will change. Mm. Ekadasi, Sastra said, you cannot eat anything. <laughs> and Ekadasi, there he gave me rice. And I took it. Without doubting, and I got all realization that because he testing me how much I believe in him. And that time, I am a very hot yogi. I without chanting out my Gayatri Diksha, I don't eat anything. Very fanatic. Fanatic. And he want to break this fanatic. Yeah, 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 that he's tasting, yeah? yeah? So you are just following Shastra, or you are following my word? Many disciples come, all they say, Guru Dev, today they got a seat. Yes, yes, you're right. <laughs> and to me he gives. Wow. And I know tonight. <laughs> You say, you say, if some prasada comes, should not deny. You, you always say, no, Guru Dev? Oh, I say, oh, yeah. mercy, any time can come. You don't know. The problem is not that he will say that I'm coming to you. It comes. And Krishna will give through whom we don't know. Mm, that's true. He will come in different form. Radha will come in different form. Mm. You see the century is true. Mm. And they give. And you deny them not. Yes, Sri Dharabhaya is reading a very beautiful story. Radha appears different to you know, like a lady, different to a coward girl. So if we see by material eye, we cannot recognize this is Radha or Krishna. That's why we need more realization of the spiritual body by... But Sankra blocks us. Yeah. And if if we believe Shastra too much, then always argument is coming. Mm. Or this is saying this is right, you are wrong in you know, this kind of No, even Shastra is contradicting itself. Yes, yes, yes true. Yeah. true. That is problem. Yeah, we become confused. Cutting. And circumstances, what is telling, 
be interpreted wrongly. Oh. Only Guru can make it clear. And even Prabhupada also say mm. different devotees, different persons. Mm. Different person, different instruction. So the disciple Prabhupada say, oh Prabhupada say like this, Prabhupada say like that. And then confusion is coming. Yeah. And then leave. Rati. Then you're not glorified. I never glorify my I give any press class and never I glorify. Why? Reason I you ask here Ananda's boy. I hear all this. Mm -hmm. when you are calling, then you glorify. Who lives with you? Why you glorify? He is with you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is Rati. Mm -hmm. Rati means who are always living with you. Mm -hmm. You are mm -hmm. so mad. <laughs> Wow. And so much lusty that you wow. cannot leave. Wow. Your beloved. Wow. So Gurudev, now I now I feel so separation. Why separation is more deeper? Because lives radicals heart always with Krishna. And uh, this is not ordinary rati, this kind of Mahababa. So, therefore, you know, Radhika is there, but uh, still so much feeling is coming. Uh. Right. Together they are sitting, mm. but they feel separate. Because separation, it creates more intense. Mm. Mm. Rati. Mm. This is the madness of Rati. This, this uh, radical madness is like a madana. Crazy. Crazy. That Rati is still happening. Oh my God. There. Anand Strong attachment to the lotus feet of Guru, Guru Dev or Sadhishta Dev. Mm -hmm. Everything must be come from China. Srila uh, Thakura Mahasaya shows that love for Sri Guru's feet and the ultimate goal are one. One and the same. And that love for Sri Guru's feet is the only supreme means and goal. Mm -hmm. 
the gist of it all, in other words, the conclusion of it all, the gist of it all is that wherever there is loving devotion for Sri Guru's feet, there the supreme goal is also present in an unalloyed way, in a pure way. So can I say a little bit? Too? Because Gurudev has a spiritual body, so are facility. So therefore, Gurudev always, always near, or actually attach the lotus feet of Radhika. So therefore, same, same spiritual, completely spiritual platform with like Rati and Baba, Mahababa. This is a nice understanding, yeah. Jeprasade Pure Sarva Asha means that when Sri Gurudev is pleased, all the aspirations of the sadhaka, such as fanning Sri Sri Radha Krishna with a yak tail fan in Sri Vrindavan's jewel temple, Mm. Wow. Massaging their lotus feet or rendering other loving services, all these desires are fulfilled. Wow. Mm. This is a very beautiful explanation. Is it the kind of Nikunja Seva? All aspirations, all desires are fulfilled. The highest desire. This is the highest, the highest, highest platform, highest goal. The highest desires of being serving as majority. This will be realized. From that moment, six months I was in trance, out of my body. I am wearing clothes, I am naked, I don't. Young man, I go to the toilet and Mataji go, Raja of Mother go to wash my hand, I wash. I clean myself. You don't know what to do, and, uh, and what is doing, you don't know. Huh? Completely out of body. I'm sleeping in the bed, but I don't know who's sleeping in the bed. So, Gurudev, at that time, you, 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 you realize kind of spiritual body with 24-7 Lila Darshan. 24-7, not once I get I know sleep. No sleep. Uh -huh. They bring me to picture hall to bring out to me from this consciousness. Picture hall I cry. <clears throat> like shouting grin when I something I see. All the time Radha Krishna, no others. This is Guru Kripa. Wow. This, I'm sorry, I didn't understand. This happened when he, you took the shot? Yeah, yeah. took prasada yeah, from, from, you know, rice in, in, in Ekadashi. Ah, oh, this, uh-huh, yeah. uh -huh. uh -huh. Yeah, oh. <laughs> He's so serious. He study after 2 a.m. Wow. Very, very. He changed his life, my dear. Very hard working. Wow. 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 Krishna 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 
Or English. Nitya Siddha. Krishna Prem. Bono English. Nitya Siddha Krishna Prem. Nitya means every day. Eternal. Nitya, yeah. yes, every day or eternal. 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 Krishna Prem. Krishna. Sadha Kavunai. Sadha Kavunai. Not easy to get. Sadhana, there is no any sadhana prescribed that you do this, then you will get it. Mm. There is no regulative principle. Suddha Chitta. Suddha Chitta is not there. Our Chitta is not Suddha. Mm. Suddha Chitta. Sramanadi. Bon. Sarakavana. Suddha Chitta. Sarvanadi. Suddha Chitta Karai Udaya. Karai Udaya. 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 Automatically manifest. Sunrising. Sunrising. You don't need to effort for sunrising. You rise. You support to rise. Automatic is rising. You know, push it there, the sun to come up. It will rise. Karaya Udai. Karaya Udai. He's a Bangla, Baba. The market was there, Hobe, Bakaka, Hobe. Details was there, Hobe. I was a good friend of him. The morning is so hello. We can explain everything. सब तो बंगला ही है सुलो का चित्र तो तो बंगला चेतन चेतन में कि कोर बंगला बुज और बंगला बैठा कोर चेतन चेतन में तो देखे उन लोग आज एक हम जान करे कि भालो गोपी की जान करे everyone has to learn from her गोपी की Gopi Geet of this Srimad Bhagavad, she is sick in the evening time. I said to her, after Arati, wow, very nice. Huh? You listen to her? Wow. Paloga Janayo. Baba Gaan Jana ki Ami Leela, Leela, Leela bhai Leela Gaan is the Pala Gaan Manai Kunja Leela Alay Alay Separately, there is a past time. Now, come behind. How they are meeting. She knows, but they are now Bangla understanding. We have no. When we are young, all the time Bangladi group. Mohan Baba, all my god brothers, all Bangladi. Poor Bengali. And then we are this thing, this. And Mohan Baba also very good singer of Palagan. He sings very nice. He's a Palagan, he and Vinod Baba. Both are singers. What do you mean, Paraga means? Lila. Part time. In Bhagavad, so sweet. So sweet. There is no word in 
This means when Sri Guru Dev is pleased, then all the aspirations of the sadhaka, such as fanning Sri Sri Radha Krishna with a yak tail, yak tail, is a pastime. Is a pastime. Yeah, fanning. Sri Sri Radha Krishna with a yak tail fan in Sri Vrindavan's jeweled temple. Yak tail, you know? Mm. The big fan. Chamara. No, no big fan. Now not, not doing because it's a winter time. When summer will come, they will. Ah, yeah. We have big yak tail. Mm. Then this time. Only chamar. There is also peacock feather fan. They are not doing now. Why? Because winter time. Winter time. Mm. Yak tail fan not using and this. But in the temple there is fan. Bengal power jar. It doesn't make. You cannot get it. Yak tail fan. Fan only Bengal. Acha. We arrange from Mayapur. So this past time, mm. and also massaging, massaging their lotus feet, yeah. or rendering other services. All of these desires are fulfilled. Yeah. For these services. Yeah. Ye sab asa, or the constant hankering yeah. for Sri Radha Madhava's loving service that the sadhaka cherishes within his heart is fulfilled by Sri Guru Dev's grace. Yeah. The hankering for Sri Radha's Madhava's loving service. The hankering is the same as greed. Yeah, same. Yeah, hankering, greed. As as an example of such aspirations is given by the blessed author Sri Radha Kurma Ashaya, it is Pratyanapada. Yeah. Maybe we save for next time, huh? Yes, yes, yes. Thank you for this. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. More two pages, huh? Finish this. Now? No? Yeah. Oh. Just shiroka. So only shiroka. Is, yeah, Just this is shiroka. a pratana. This is uh, <coughs> this Pratana. Very beautiful. Very nice. Mm. 
Oh, Lokanath, my guru. Last is this. This is this is the pratana now. It's yeah. saying that. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I no, skip, no, 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 I skip. I skip. The sorry. The Kusumita uh, Vindavani. Uh -huh. Not just the Sikhigana. Maybe you can you can read the Bangura. You. The peacocks. Oh, okay. No, no, Bangura. You can you can read you can read the Bangura here. Kusumito Vindavane, Nachata Sikhigane, Pika Kula, Brahmara Jankare, Priya Shachari Change, Gaya Chaibe Range, Manohara Nikunja Kutire. Maybe you can eat every bangra in my mind. God, she this. can do miracles. Oh. Mm, Chaitan Chaitamrit, take this book and read nicely. Yeah, mm. I will hear. I say to to Krishna Nanda, mm. he, he sing very nice voice. Mm. She has voice. On it, you take the book and sing Chaitanya Chaitanya. Mm -hmm. wow. Nicely, I say you, and explain that. Wow. Don't explain from you. You read English and explain from the Prabhupada word. But sing only Bangla, the slope, what is there. Wow. All will become mad. Mm. <laughs> wow. Practice with me. Mm. I Ten be. days you will start doing. I say one day he's 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 singing and explaining, and I explain he sing. Yeah. And then I say do this. You start doing, he become famous. In Switzerland. Hmm. Oh, Krishnanda. Very famous man. <coughs> he is he's earning his 10,000 Swiss francs. <laughs> 10,000 Swiss francs. 10,000? Yes. A month? Yes. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> wow. Normal the, a Swiss person earns six, five. Six, seven thousand is no big thing. Mm. And he uh, practiced ten thousand. Mm. He said, What to do, Sadhamara? I said, Five thousand keeps suffering. <laughs> and he buy in one year one house for his father and mother. Wow. wow. Big house. Wow. Yeah, he said. And he this said. is very expensive. Very expensive house. High house. He buy twenty five lakhs of his housekeeper. Really? Wow. You go some place. <laughs> you listen to me and do that. You can earn so much money that I say, "Say kya karta? Sab ka duk duro ya ya." All you make famous. Who is your father's Siddhanta brother? He will become famous. Richness of wealth, not richness of bhakti. I leave all my things. But I have nothing, and I don't keep anything. But money is not a big problem. I never think money. And I am not living in the ghost previous time. I live now. One time my grandmother bring me to the locker room. Hmm? Locker room. 
Look. Uh huh. I'll rock the room. Yes. To show me. And my father made me. Five was only a diamond and ruby. Wow. Five almira, full. Wow. Ten almira was full of notes. Wow. And coins. Wow. Silver and gold is like a all almiras. Wow. I don't know. I, I, why are you keeping a stone here? <laughs> <laughs> See, he took one stone. He said, you value less stone. One stone is a value less. This I see. And I live in previous past and just I give you jump. We have to live in now. Mm. Also Karpa Taru I have. Mm. Anything I desire is fulfilled. Mm. Because Radharani is a Karpa Taru. <clears throat> I say, I want to travel now. All business class ticket will come to me. I will not want to. I don't want to go anywhere. Mm -hmm. Because why I go up from Kalpata? <laughs> I'm getting everything. <laughs> and see of Vrindavan. I was foolish, I am traveling. To leave my to death. Why I will leave her? I am not going there, but I am with her. I have nothing to do. That Nista has to come. And this happened because my mercy of my Guru. You fix me. At that time of initiation. <laughs> so that's what I You find any any books that Antaranga Sakti become Bhairanga Sakti. Only realization can give you. I said, where well, I will find you to do this? He said, your realization will show you. I said, I don't know. What you say, I accept, but I don't understand. Now I can see. All Antaranga Sakti is in Bhairanga Sakti. Everywhere, this Antaranga Sakti, the inner Shakti of Radhika is serving to Krishna. Now it's very clear to me. So I explain Panchatattva different way than others. Nobody said that, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong or what? I see that way. All Radha Sakti. Hmm. Mahaprabhu Radha Sakti, Nityananda, Anangamanjari, hmm. Gajadhar is Radha Sakti. Hmm. Radha Sakti is Prema Shakti. So all blood never knows to love. That is the mercy of Radhika. So Charana Rati gives everything. Right? But Sri Guru, 
This has to be Sri Guru. Sri means Radha Raj. What you need, material thing. All will come only by thinking. Not you have to effort for that. You think and it will happen. This is Radha. Why Nita is first, they say. Why not God Nita? Hmm. Yes. Many are telling God Nita. Hmm. They don't understand. Sorry. One day I asked him, Mahandi Swami, he will explain it. It should be Nitai Gaur or Gaur Nitai. You cannot see Gaur without Nitai. Mm. So Nitai Gaur. Mm. I give you example. Raghunath Das Goswami, he went three times to Mahaprabhu, right? Two times he said, no, no, two are late for you, go back. Why? You are not mature, now you have to go to home. He escaped. And he will come up with. So he is searching God. When he meets with Nitai and punish him, then he accepts Dora. Dora accept because that time he sees Radha Shakti to her. Radha Shakti to her. Radha, Radha. <coughs> Radha Rani. Hmm. Then he sent to Sarup Damodha. Hmm. To understand Radha, you need to go to Lalita. Why need I to my see? Ramananda Roy. Atufasaki. Pujan Saki Jan. Jan Atmani Vedan. When you want to see Radha Mohan, don't see him. See the Saki. Two are like this kind. Ready to receive what you bring and ready to give you mercy of Radha Rani. One is giving to Radha. One is given to Krishna. This is Pujan Sakija. Yeah, that is Jana Sakija na Atmani Veda. Prabhupada liked this line, not Abhaycharan, his name, <laughs> this line. When this life, when time will come, that I will give Atman even to you. Myself I will offer. Hmm. Yeah. Nita is also. Nithai is so the Nithai is so. 
Mitai. Ora. Mm. Without mercy of Mitai, we cannot see. Without mercy of Radhika, we cannot understand Ora. We cannot understand without mercy of Today is 23, 22 now. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. Kirtan, but more kirtan. More. Mm. You will see. Mm -hmm. Name and Nami, there is no difference. And it will be very nice kirtan because Narutam Pratna, one singer is there. He sings so nice Narutam Pratna. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they start from the camera. Mm -hmm. My book, Vinayak, is also written Padula of name. Putito Obuts Jano Brindavana. Yeah, he took good hair. There are the peace in nature. Tabito Prabhupada. When I am at home, then Radharani mercy comes. Gora mercy comes. Mercy only comes when I am no qualified. Qualified person not get mercy. So I say no sastra. Sastra will make you ego high. Sadhu or guru block you. Sastra will block you to doubt him. It's a reference book. Keep this reference book. It's not priority. Name is the priority. Chanting is the priority. And connection is the priority. Please believe me. They start from today. Wow. He's more pagala than me. <laughs> <laughs> to, from today. Wow. They are already, we are as a person for singing. All are very good singers. Mm. But it is pagala, we start from today. Gopinath is a very pagal. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> 
government cannot get other place. What is he singing now? Mahamantra. Mahamantra. Uh -huh. So classical, uh -huh. you never listen that. Only in Bhagna happened. All the best artists of Vrindavan, they are coming. One day, eight, nine thousand. Three days. No, nobody will understand. You see? to material qualities. Qualification, material quality, he's saying this is not necessary. Okay, Just not love. Ready. All you need is love. Absolutely love. The material qualities, well, you only make ego big. You don't think about qualities. Not 